Hey there, my name is Ryan League, and I get the wonderful privilege of guiding us through a portion of Scripture today found in Mark 4, verse 9. Scripture says this, it says, Then he said, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. All week long, we've been looking at the remarkable parables of Jesus. Now, it's not too late to catch up on those in case you missed it. But today's text is coming off the heels of the beginning of a parable Jesus gave, which is often referred to as the parable of the sower. In this parable, a farmer sows seeds on different types of ground. And as he scattered the seed, some of it fell on the road and birds ate it. Some seed fell in the gravel and withered quickly by the sun. Some seed fell in the weeds and it was strangled among the weeds. Some fell on good earth and came up with the flourish, producing a harvest, exceeding his wildest dreams. Jesus goes on to explain this parable is about our posture toward God's word and the four different outcomes that can come of it. Simply put, some people hear the word of God and either Satan can take it away or they, they find themselves in a position where they don't really let God's word truly penetrate their heart. Or perhaps they end up in a place where the worries of life the stresses of life distract them, and then no fruit is produced. Or you and I can embrace God's Word for all that it is, and we can experience a full and fruitful life. Did you know that that's what God wants for you? He wants you to have a fruitful and productive life. And it all hinges on what our relationship is with and our posture towards God's Word truly is. You may read a verse you've read a thousand times, and you could just say, hmm, nah. Or you could read a verse that you've read a thousand times and say, Lord, would you grace my ears and open my eyes one more time to see and hear something I've never seen or heard before. Posture changes everything. Are we going to make room for God's word to listen to him? Perhaps you've got a situation you could use some heavenly wisdom on. And here's the deal. We can get some wisdom from friends, family, colleagues, and those are some viable options to listen to. We can even ask a question on social media. Take a poll, if you will, and get a bunch of people's opinions. But there's something powerful about pausing our day long enough to listen to God. I encourage you today to even take a few minutes with God's word this weekend and say, Lord, I'm listening. That's what I want you to think about today.